Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about how to download and install VS Code, Visual Studio Code. So first, open the browser, just go to the google.com and type here Visual Studio Code so that you'll get the official website code.visualstudio.com. Click on this link. So here you will be finding the download for Windows. Just click on this one so that uh, your download will be started and just uh, let's wait until the download has been completed meanwhile you can subscribe to our channel right so let it be complete so you can see the download has been completed so click on this one so that uh, the vs code will be get installed in your system see accept the agreement click on next so here you will be getting the location where exactly the Visual Studio code is being installed. So if you want to change, you can change. So I will not change this one. So I will keep like this. Just click on the next. So do you want to create a start menu folder? So you can create or if you don't want to create, so just click on this checkbox. Click on next. So create a desktop icon and this is important add to path. So make sure that is a tick mark with this add to path. Otherwise, you have to uh, add the path to environment, environmental variables explicitly. So in order to avoid that, just make sure the tick mark is there for this particular add to path and register code as an editor for supported files. And this is an optional. So you, based upon your interest, if you want to create a desktop icon, click on this one. So I'll, I'll select this one and click on next and install so that the installation process will be started and once it was completed we can launch the visual studio code which is the ide for many programs so you can uh, write the many programs so you can run python program c c++ java everything in this visual studio code this is an ide for all the programming languages right so here uh, already there is a tick mark for launch visual studio code just click on finish so that the visual code will, will be opened. Yes, so here you can see the Visual Studio code opened and here we can create a workspace in this particular explorer. Just click on the open folder and here I will create a new folder and I will write some Python work. So select this folder. So that particular workspace will be created and here you can create a new file. So create a new file. I will create the new file with the sample.py where the py is an extension, python extension and here you can write. So print welcome to python sessions, right. So after writing that go to the extension. So you see here you can see a lot of menus on the left pen. The next one is a search. You can search for a particular string in the complete folder. And this is for source control, so which is to link up with the GitHub like uh, other sources. And this is a run and debug, so you can run and debug this program. And these are the extensions we need to install. So this is a Python, so we need to install the Python extension. So just click on this one and here search for Python. Search for Python, so you will be getting a lot of extensions. Select the one extension, I will select this one. And here we will be getting installed, so I have already installed this uh, Python extension here. So directly I can go to the debug and I can run the program. See, so I'll close this one. I'll go with the here and just click on this play button so that the program will be get executed. Okay, so click on this play button to run the code. So here you'll get the output. So this is how we can run the Python programs in Visual Studio Code and not only the Python programs and the same Visual Studio Code is used to write the programs in C, C++ or Java. So you need to install the extensions. If you want to install the C and C++, go with the C, press enter so that we will get all the C, C++ 
extensions so click on this one and here you will be finding the install option so directly you can install see like this you will be getting the install so you can directly install the extensions and you can execute the programs or if you want to install java you just go with the java instruct java extensions so click on here so install so that all the java programs can be executed in this visual studio pro right so hope you understood this one how to download and how to install the visual studio code which is a common ide for many programming languages right so hope you understood this session and uh, if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much